Over the last year, AI has absolutely exploded in terms of its uses for content creation. You can't throw a rock without hitting a brand new app that is going to help you edit and create videos, photos, and graphics faster, more efficiently than you were doing before. Some of these apps are great and are perfect for you to add into your content creation tool belt and some not so much. So in today's video, I'm going to run you through the AI video apps I use on a daily basis to produce all the videos that you see on this channel and over on BAM. Let's jump into it. Big disclaimer here right at the top, AI is a tool and like all great tools, you actually have to know how to use it in order to get the best results out of it. So even though a lot of the programs we're going to be talking about today are super user friendly and easy to jump right into, they do have a little bit of a learning curve in terms of understanding what needs to be done to get the best result. With that said, let's talk about my first favorite content creation AI, Midjourney. So Midjourney has been around for a while now. It was one of the first kind of image generation AIs right when this whole thing popped off, it and Dolly 2. And I use this primarily for generating obscure, fun thumbnail images, right? I don't make entire thumbnails for it, but specifically over on the hot sheet, the daily live show we do each and every morning that the markets open on BAM. Sometimes what I'll do if I need a very specific image generated, I'll go into mid journey, I'll type in my prompt, and I will get an image to go on the thumbnail. It won't replace the entire thumbnail. And sometimes it'll take a couple iterations to get the image where I want it to be. But overall, mid journey is a fantastic tool for graphics creation. I can see mid journey being used and I have seen mid journey being used as a way to create backgrounds and landscapes for thumbnails as well. Again, the big star to all of this is you have to know how to specifically ask the AI what it is that you want generated on screen. The more detailed you can be and the more specific you are with what it is that you want mid journey to create in the final image, the better the image will be at the end of it. So mid journey is great and worth every single dollar that it will cost you to get into the platform. The next AI tool that I use frequently is going to be called Gling. Now Gling is one of the newer softwares in the AI scene and in my opinion is one of the best. Now essentially what Gling does is it will take a video just like this one. It will transcribe the whole video and it will rough edit it for you. What does that mean? It'll go ahead and remove all the bad takes and silences and give you one cohesive take that you could then go in and start adding graphics and music and B-roll to. It is a massive time saver. And is it perfect? No. But if I was just starting out and I didn't really have a good handle on editing basics yet, this would be a great tool in order for me to get the hang of it because it is a text-based editor. Instead of editing on a timeline, what Gling will do is it will give you a transcript of everything that was said in your video. You could then go ahead and edit the transcript as if you were editing a Google Doc or a Word Doc and cutting out the words that you don't want in the doc will cut out the corresponding video. It makes it extremely easy to go in and fine tune exactly the takes that you want and don't want. On top of that, and what makes it even cooler is Gling will automatically export an XML file to your pro editors, whether that is Premiere, DaVinci, or Final Cut. That way you can take the base work you've done in Gling and start building on it in your timeline editing software. And once you're in that editing software, in my case, that's gonna be Premiere Pro, you're gonna find my next favorite AI tool that I use on a daily basis, and that's gonna be called Autopod. Autopod, when I saw it for the first time, was mind blowing. There's a video here on the channel where I go down and exactly show you how to use Autopod, but essentially what it'll do is if you're somebody like me who films a ton of long form three angle podcasts, you will load in all of the video files and all of the audio files, label each track of who is speaking when, and Autopod will just rough edit it for you. It will edit the angled cuts back and forth depending on who is speaking. You can have it be an enabled timeline. You could have it just make regular cuts. Autopod is a fantastic tool if you're somebody who edits podcasts. Again, not perfect. You will still want to go in and make a second pass to make sure that the cuts are exactly where you want them and that everything is up to snuff. But on the whole, Autopod will save you a ton of time. And once you've got your podcast rough cut and edited, that's where my next favorite AI comes in, the Adobe Podcast AI. 
And essentially what it does is it will take your video clip that you recorded with any mic, whether that is your onboard camera, a shotgun mic, a lav mic, or even like a pro level XLR mic and make it sound like it was recorded in perfect conditions. It'll remove the noise, it'll enhance all the voices on the clip. Is it perfect? No, you do gotta be pretty close to have the best product for it. But on the whole, if you have like really bad audio, let's say your mic jack wasn't plugged in and all you've got is like the scratch audio from your camera, it will make it so much more palatable to your end viewer than if you had just used the audio on its own. Sure, you can go through and tweak it a little bit more yourself, but if you're somebody who is just getting started in content creation and you're not really familiar with how to balance audio yourself or how to EQ things, Adobe Podcast AI is a fantastic tool. And finally, my last AI when it comes to video content creation that I love using is vidIQ's AI. Now, again, this is one of the newer AIs that I've seen come to market. It is paid. It is part of the vidIQ process. But it is a really cool tool in the sense that it is just a YouTube plugin for Google Chrome. And it will give you prompts as you're watching other people's videos, such as, why did this video perform well? Give me some titles based on this video. What was good about this video's hook? to help you then get sparked in your own ideation to create videos better. VidIQ is fantastic for title generation, for tags, it'll do all of that and is certainly an amazing tool to have in your arsenal. In short, all of these programs are amazing tools to help you up your efficiency. You can now create podcasts faster, which means you can create more podcasts. You can now balance audio faster, which means you can create more audio clips. You can rough cut faster. It's all about getting you to where you want to be much quicker. You're just compressing your time using the tools that you have in front of you. So those are my five favorite AI apps for video editors currently, but let me know down in the comments, did I miss any of them? And what are your favorite AI apps? Whatever they are, let me know. Take care of yourselves and we'll talk again real soon.